School is out for the summer and kids are enjoying some time away from their online classroom. But what happens in the fall? Should students return to the classroom? The American Academy of Pediatrics says yes. Sarah Hammond joins us live to hear from parents on their thoughts on the upcoming school year. Yeah, school parking lots like this one have been empty for the last few months as students shifted to online learning. But starting in August, that could change. Karen Garrett says her 13 year old started out strong on her e-learning assignments. Initially it went well. Then she noticed her daughter was losing her drive and focus. I would have to make her, you know, come into the living room. I would have to make her go outside. Um, and it, just got, it, it got really bad. Jennifer Honeycutt says it's been tough for her 13 and 10 year old sons too. Being home and being away from their friends and out of routine, away from the teachers. Now the American Academy of Pediatrics says students should go back for in-person learning in the fall. One of their reasons to avoid social isolation. Yes, you can learn digitally, but kids do better with that interaction with other kids, with teachers. They can read each other better. The AAP says students should avoid school buses if possible and recommends one way hallways, assigned seating and staggered lunch periods. Pediatrician Dr. Lance Slade says it's so important to teach kids the importance of wearing a mask and washing their hands. So I think masks and those kind of things are going to be second nature eventually. But right now it seems foreign. So I think it's coaching them that way. Honeycutt and Garrett both say school is about more than just learning math and science. The kids miss out on a lot when they are not in the classroom and that they really feel um, just isolated. You learn rules, you learn how things work, you learn that life's not fair. You have to have that social interaction. Dr. Slade says keeping kids at home and isolated from each other could hurt their ability to eventually build up immunity to COVID-19 like they do for other viruses such as the flu. Live in Houston County, Sarah Hammond, 13 WMAZ News. In many school reopening plans, there are choices for parents. Some districts will allow parents to choose to keep their children home and enroll them in e-learning.